Dadia Hall, my name is Rose, and I want everyone to eat bugs. Okay, so it's starting with my co-founder, Laura. She was my college roommate, and she was in Tanzania when she saw a street vendor selling fried caterpillars. She didn't know what to think. You know, do I eat this, do I not? But when in Tanzania, so she tried it. Her first thought was, this tastes like lobster, which actually makes a lot of sense because insects and crustacean are very closely related. So when we got back to the US, we started researching, well, why are people eating bugs in other parts of the world, not here in the US? So what we now have come out with is chirps. It's our first product, it's a cricket chip. Um, and so we use cricket protein instead of soy or whey protein. This is cricket protein. Uh, cricket protein is crickets dried and milled into a powder. It's 70% protein, has more B12 than salmon and more iron than spinach. So it's extremely good for you. So why do we want you to eat bugs? Because it solves four of the biggest issues in food today. Right now, there's a clean water crisis. 50% of the water in the US is used for livestock farming. What that means is about 2,000 gallons of water it takes to make one pound of beef, but just one gallon of water to make a pound of crickets. For food miles, on average, food travels about 1,500 miles um, from farm to table. That's a lot of greenhouse gas emissions that's being released into the atmosphere. It's not good. Um, food waste, about a third of our food is wasted. Um, and in terms of greenhouse gas emissions, we produce more greenhouse gas emissions than all forms of transportation combined in the livestock industry. It's a huge problem, and we don't realize that what we eat is the biggest contributor to why our world is falling apart. So why eat bugs? Well, think about insects. In the wild, they, they exist in small spaces, so you can raise crickets in cities unlike most other proteins. So you can put a cricket farm right next to your manufacturer, reducing the food miles, bringing the product much closer to your table. Uh, we use 1% of the water, um, and we feed the crickets on organic food waste. So it's a complete uh, food system that is extremely sustainable. Um, these are the chips right here. They have as much protein as an egg white per serving. They're non-GMO, gluten-free, and all natural. Um, in terms of the chip market, there's about a 4 billion tortilla chip market, 4 billion um, alternative protein market that we can take, um, but who's buying chirps? You're probably sitting there um, and thinking, I probably won't eat bugs, and you're probably not our demographic. The point is we're not gonna go after 100% of people, but there is a large percentage of millennials and young consumers these days who are really interested in sustainable products. Um, right now we're in about 1,000 stores across the nation in Kroger, uh, which is the largest grocery chain in the US, and we're in the top third of natural snacks in Kroger. Uh, we also work with Google, Hy-Vee, we're backed by Mark Cuban. Um, this year we are going to hit over a million in sales on track. Um, and very excited about that. <laughs> this is our team, I'm, uh, the top of the line is our co-founder. Um, and then we have Max, our operations manager, who came from Kraft and Frito-Lay. Liz, who came from the Ginger people and helped them grow from 10 to 30 million revenue. And Megan, who um, really understands how to market to millennials. Uh, we won a lot of awards, and um, when you eat a bag of our chips, you save six gallons of water because you are eating cricket protein instead of whey protein. So we want you to come join us, eat bugs, and spread the buzz. Thank you. Question, what are the uh, specific nutritional value compared, I mean, what are your comparable yeah, it's, um, so cricket protein is 70% protein. Um, compared to beef, it's about 50% protein. It's a complete animal protein with all nine essential amino acids. And it, so it has all the things that your body needs, unlike most plant proteins that don't have complete protein or B12 or iron, all the nutrients that your body needs. So it's, in, it's an amazing source of protein, and it's extremely resource efficient, cost efficient at scale. The only reason we don't eat it is because we're scared. That's it. Are there any uh, side effects? Sorry? Are there any side e effects? Have you oh, tested, side effects. This, tested this on <laughs> human? Um, so uh, if you think about people, right? From the beginning of time, we've been eating insects. In fact, we have a gene that, or uh, amino acids that process insects in our body. So there are no side effects unless you're potentially allergic to crustacean. That's the only one. We use crickets right now, um, but there's 2,000 varieties of edible insects that we can use. And already, like Noma, the top restaurant in Copenhagen, Copenhagen has been um, experimenting with ants for the last seven years. Um, so we're seeing it come through fine dining as well as from the CPG side. How do you grow How, them? You, yeah. you grow them? 
Where do we get the crickets? That's the most commonly asked question. Um, we do not, uh, there are cricket farms that exist. Um, think about your reptile industry or the fish bait industry. Crickets have been around for many generations. And uh, we use those existing farms, but they've built out a separate side for human grade consumption um, according to FDA regulations. So how can this be used to drive down the cost of nutrition for existing current animal diet? So That's a great question. So there's two like verticals happening in the industry right now. There's okay. one for human consumption and one for animal feed. Yes. The reason why we chose human is because we're the most upstream problem. We're still eating the animals, which is still wreaking havoc on the environment. That said, for there are many companies like ProTix that's raised like $50 million that has worked on animal feed. So which is the fastest path to the money and how am I as an investor going to get paid? So if you're in this industry just for the money, uh, it's going to be tough because, well, there's like animal feed companies that are only in it for money, but most of us in it are not looking for investors who only care about the money. We care very much about the mission, and there's no shortage of investors who are coming to this industry. Okay, great. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, well. Thank you.